My name is Walter Leland Durfee. I'm 88 this year. Uh, I was number eight in the family. And uh, I think that's about all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was your very first childhood memory? I can remember sitting on the post waiting for the school bus my first day of school and everybody was making fun of me because I was afraid I'd miss the bus and I was ready to go to school. <laughs> so you're you the first one on the bus that day? <laughs> That's excellent. Uh, what were some of your duties or chores in the family? Milking cows and of course haying. I had to tromp the wagons and use the dairy cars and it was always something to do like that. How many times a day did you milk the cows? We milked night and morning and uh, usually had from oh, 25 to 30, 35 cows to milk. So you get up and you milk before you went to school? And we had to milk them by hand. Doris, Larray, and yours truly, and Lewis was just a little bit young to do, but he tried, but he was there usually helping us. Is that why you were afraid of missing the buses, because you had to milk the cows? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, which one of your chores did you dislike the most? Oh, gosh. I didn't dislike any of them, really. Oh, hoeing the garden wasn't fun, but uh, I think most of it was really fun to do. Was there one that you uh, did better than the rest of your brothers and sisters? I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> they would probably say so, but I don't think so. Was there any one that you really enjoyed most? Uh, well, I, I enjoyed uh, going up the canning, canyon fishing and leave all the worries behind. <laughs> Not quite a chore, huh? <laughs> right. <laughs> what was your um, fondest childhood memory? Oh dear. <laughs> the least fond, you know, every year we had a root beer bottled and we put it in quart bottles and they were kind of sloped on top and a little bit hard to hold on to and they'd be in the ice bucket until it really got cold and invariably I'd get a hold of the neck of it and it'd slip out of my hand and I think about three years in a row I lost my big toenails <gasps> being whacked with a quart of root beer when it slipped out of my hand and hit me. <laughs> so the root beer was the good part, but the fact that you right. lost toenails every year was the bad part. <laughs> oh, that's great. What were your favorite things to do in summertime? Oh, I loved to ride horses. We had old Nig, and it was kind of strange. He was a white horse, but we called him old Nig. And uh, Zen would come down, and Charles, usually pick up Charles, and the three of us would ride old Nig bareback. Every time we'd go by a gate, he'd act as though he was going to pull into that gate and stop. And so we'd kind of lean and get ready, and the next time we'd all lean and he'd go straight on and we'd all three fall <laughs> off. And then we'd have to get back on again. But we enjoyed riding old Nig. And in the wintertime, what types of things did you do? Oh, mostly skating. I remember we had skates, and I hardly ever had shoes that had good soles to keep the clamps on. Of course, I didn't have the, the beautiful new shoe skates that everybody had then. These old cl clamps just was supposed to fit onto the bottom of your shoes soul, but we got by improvised. skating. Skating, that's <laughs> How old were you when you left home? Oh. And why did you leave? Did you leave for the war? Did you leave for school? Uh, we had a 
Brother Harper said, I want you to come down and help milk these 40 head of cows because I know your mother can use the money and I want you to come down and milk these cows and help out. So I went home and told mom, Brother Harper wants me to come down and milk his cows. And mom, bless her, said, no, get out in the world and see what the world has to offer. You're not going to milk any more cows. So I went to Sun Valley and enjoyed every minute of it from that time on. About how old were you when you went to Sun Valley? I was right out of high school. I was, what, 17, 17, 17 and a half probably. And what did you do in Sun Valley? I worked in the game room mm -hmm. and uh, took uh, W.P. Rogers, the manager of Sun Valley at the time, had an old chow dog. And he spotted me playing with the old dog and he said, you get out of that game room and take care of this dog for me. Play with him and enjoy it. So I got to play with old Buck. And that's about all I had to do from then on. <laughs> that sounds like a great job. <laughs> what do you think is one of the greatest inventions that you've seen during your time? The greatest inventions? Probably uh, like the moonshot. Uh, I thought that was fantastic that people could get in something and orbit the earth and end up on the moon. And it, it still amazes me. That's pretty amazing. What kind of animals or pets did you have growing up? Did you have one? We had, I had dogs, old Buck, usually. He was an old yellow dog and he was my friend. Got so old he couldn't get around much, but I don't know what ever happened to him. I guess he just finally died. What was but what? he was a good old dog. He was a good companion dog. <laughs> we, uh, I did get to ride horses to go get the cows in and stuff, but that was more drudgery than fun. Because <laughs> it wasn't just a fun little stroll; it was out right. doing something. <laughs> What was uh, What's one of your favorite memories you have of your father? Uh, I think uh, dad singing, because he, he was kind of a happy little guy. He wasn't a very big man, but he liked to sing, and he, you could always see him, hear him singing. Uh, what is it? Those old shoes of mine? Anyway, they have tips on the toes, and he'd, he'd sing that and do a little dance as he did them. What was one of your favorite memories of your mom? Mom and her good cooking. Bread and, and her noodles and everything. She just was an excellent cook. And we never lacked for good food. We didn't have any money but we had everything that anybody would ever want to eat, beautifully prepared. That's always good. That's why I got so big and fat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She loved you enough to feed you well. Right. <laughs> so what is something that you'd like to say to any of your family or posterity that will be viewing this in the future? Uh, stay close and true to your family. And remember that people who pray together, stay together. Thanks, Grandpa.